the No Fate channel checking in, and summer is finally here, and with it is iced coffee season. On this episode of Dad's Diet, I'm going to be showing you how your iced coffees are making you fat and what you can do to fix it. I love Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee. Up here in New England, there's a Dunkin' Donuts around every corner and in every gas station. With summer finally here, after what seemed like an impossibly long winter, many of you are starting to enjoy those iced coffees again. But what you don't realize is those iced coffees are killing your diet and making you fat. Anybody that has ever gone on a diet, tried to lose weight, or just keep fat off knows the main cardinal rule. Do not drink your calories. Those calories are void of nutrition. They do not make you feel full, and what's worse, they are chocked full of sugar. Remember, we touched upon this in a previous Dad's Diet episode. Sugar spikes your insulin levels, and insulin is the number one hormone that causes your body to store fat. As you head out this summer to enjoy your iced coffee, remember there are a lot more calories and what's worse, sugar in them than you realize. Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee with milk and sugar, 166 calories, 37 grams of sugar. If you go for a Starbucks iced coffee, they're even worse. Those Dunkin' Donuts culottes that come in many flavors and wonderful colors, those things are diabetes in a glass. The culottes, a large culotte, 16 ounces, that is 414 calories, 90 grams of sugar. You can't even picture what 90 grams of sugar looks like until you fill it up and put it in a glass. How do you have your cake and eat it too? How do you go out on a hot summer day, enjoy your iced coffee without taking in all of those calories and sugar? So here's four suggestions. Number one is to order it black. This is probably the healthiest way to get your iced coffee. It's going to be void of calories, void of sugar. Um, I understand that for many of you though, this isn't an option. It's a little too strong, a little too tart for your, for your taste. Uh, the second solution is going to be to add artificial sweetener in place of sugar. While artificial sweetener has zero calories, keep in mind there's no such thing as a free lunch. So when you take in artificial sweeteners, your body still has the same response to release insulin. So you'll get no calories from the artificial sweeteners, but your body's insulin is still going to spike because of the sweetness of those artificial sweeteners. Suggestion three is to order your iced coffee black and then mix in your own milk and sugar you'll find that you're going to use a lot less milk and sugar than your local barista. If you're on the go and you don't want the hassle of mixing your own milk and sugar, you just want to fly right through the drive-in, then simply order your iced coffee with half the milk and sugar. It's a simple thing for them to enter, and I guarantee you won't miss the sugar and the milk that they left out. It's the summertime, and I want you dads to go out and enjoy that iced coffee. But please be aware of how many calories and how much sugar is contained in that iced coffee. Think of ways that I've suggested, and maybe there's others that I haven't suggested, that you can mitigate the amount of sugar that you're taking in. And of course, at all times, try to avoid drinking your calories. What's your favorite drink of choice during the summer? Let me know in the comments below. I hope to God it isn't a culotta. As usual, thanks for watching, and don't save anything for the trip back. The No Fate Channel is dedicated to providing you with ideas on how to improve your community. Your community at home, your community in your neighborhood, and your community in your town. I'll also be giving you insight into this dad's tricks, trips, and tribulations.